Here at the Black Box Theater, Chloe Cole talked to a crowd of around 140 people about her life story. She was driven by a noble mission to safeguard children from potentially harmful ideologies and medical interventions. Chloe draws from her personal experience to bring attention to the distressing consequences of gender affirming care for adolescents. Cole is a 19-year-old detransitioner who now advocates against the practice of sex changing care for minors. It was made into a condition that I had, rather than just a part of my experience growing up from a girl to a woman. In her event, she focused on how her doctors approached treatment when she seeked gender reassignment care. But when I took his advice, it gave me a skin infection. It made my problem worse. And that was really the final nail in the coffin towards my trust of doctors, of any doctor really, in the medical institutions. Cole wants a change within the LGBTQ plus community of how people with gender dysphoria are treated. Those of us with gender dysphoria are being led to believe that there's only one path for us. It's either transition or death. And that anything else is a threat to our very existence. Cole then opened the theater to questions from the crowd, which included questions from both viewpoints. You are advocating against for other children. It is never appropriate to interfere with a perfectly healthy child. While Chloe Cole is speaking inside, protesters are here outside the IMU, spreading messages of support to the transgender community. Protesters started inside with signs and chants, but quickly went outside, blocking the entrances to the Iowa Memorial Union. If somebody does walk in to hear the speaker, they have to first see how what they're going to see impacts the people in the community that they are either against or trying to learn more about. Protesters continue sharing signs, chants, and chalking messages of support. I'm showing that trans people deserve to be in Iowa, trans people are loved, and Iowa is a mostly conservative place, so I know what it feels like to be a gay person in Iowa, and it sucks sometimes, and they deserve to be shown that people care and people love trans people. Some also made points to protest against Cole and the Young Americans for Freedom organization. I can sympathize with the goal of trying to educate people about things like the risks of gender affirming care. However, her case is relatively rare. They're just fighting for what they believe and how they feel. And it seems like the people that are having the speaker here tonight, like they seem like they're actively spreading hate. Not long before the event ended inside, protesters moved to the crosswalks and began to block cars. I feel like they should have been inside, they should have been listening. Uh, I feel like they're accomplishing nothing really right now. I feel like they're obstructing traffic, they're being kind of useless members of society. I feel like they're just blocking people, they're not being, uh, this is not a democracy, like you, can't, you don't get the freedom to block traffic and to screech at people. Some protesters began having conflicts with the police as officers eventually the cars in the area. Um, things are getting not great. As attendees of the event left, so did protesters. Others kept chants up though, eventually heading away from the IMU. I mean, the goal of the protest is to let them know we're here, and we let them know we're here. So I think the goal is accomplished, even though it's not over, even though, you know, people are still protesting, protesting we're always going to be protesting. We're going to be protesting forever, it seems like. So yep. until something changes, we're not going to stop protesting. Protesters shouted chants and messages of support all night long. From the Iowa Memorial Union, this is Ashley Wheel for DITV.